A lot of people underestimate the amount of heat generated from their engine compartment. The best way to control the heat is at the source. So applying a heat shield to the engine compartment side is gonna stop it before it becomes conductive into your floor pan. What we've got here is a peel and stick heat shield and we're gonna stick this on the firewall. So we've made a template just using a bit of plastic left over. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna transpose it onto this bit of peel and stick heat shield and then we're gonna peel and stick it straight onto the firewall. This material will reduce heat in two ways. First, it's got a true heavyweight aluminium, which is in its silver finish will reflect the heat. But secondly, it'll work as a heat sink. So the aluminium will want to grab the heat and hold onto it. What it's got on the underside is a needle punch composite. Think of a fire blanket. So this is a dense fabric that'll stop the heat transfer going through the aluminium and getting to your sheet metal. So to give you an idea how much temperature you're going to reduce, Here's an exhaust pipe at 357 degrees, which is 25 mil off surface. Without our heat shield applied, the heat is 176 degrees. With it applied, is 65 degrees. So now we've made our heat shield from our pattern, we're going to peel and stick and put it on the firewall. So you want to clean this down with a white based spirit, use Prepsol, Metho or Acetone, make sure that's clean because you get one shot of this. So you can loosely shape it, so we've got a bit of shape in here, so you can loosely push it in to get the, the form right so it's ready to go. And then just choose a, a, a datum point, I'm going to datum ours off this and that's going to set up everything else. So what's handy at this stage is an application roller like this where you can apply some pressure, but also the handle, which you're gonna to use to push into all the concave areas. So we've got that positioned where we want. There's two points, which is gonna be this point and this point that I'm aiming for. So I'm just gonna align this one over here. And now we can pretty much just roll it on and form it into the shape that it needs to go. So you can see we've got over a reasonably complex shape there, but by creating a pattern with some reliefs in it, we've been able to fold and form and get as much coverage as we can.